Here we have this empty room, and this has three teleport entrances. And right now you can see that none of them are working, but if we destroy all three of these breakable blocks that are stand-ins for enemies, uh, and right now they still do not work, but if we go into the last one, then one of them should be able to work, and the one that does work is random, so this time it was the middle one. But the next time it'll be different. So next time we get rid of all the enemies and just like a roguelike, a random entrance will appear. So last time it was the middle, but now it's the left one. So let's go ahead and see how to make this. First make an object break node on, go into the count up port of a counter node on, and set the object break node on to look for when a box breaks. In this case, the box is the enemy, but if you want to break all the enemies, then you will need to set it to whatever that enemy is. And what this does is that whenever we quote unquote kill an enemy, the counter will go up by one. Then connect the counter node on to an equal comparison node on, and the other port of that should be taken up by a constant node on with a value of 3. Here it is 3 because that is the amount of enemies that I have, but if you have 5 enemies, then you'll have to make it 5, and so on. We do this because we want the exits to trigger once we have killed all of them, so they have to be equal to the number of enemies on screen. The comparison has to be connected to a random node on, and what that does is that this serves the purpose of making our exits random. If we did not have this, it would be the same exit every time, and the main mechanic of a roguelike is that it changes every single time, so this is pretty vital. And the range of the random node on has to be equal to the number of exits you want in your room. If you don't, then some of them will either not be able to transport you, or you will just have a ton of random outputs, so none of them work. Next up, we need to make it so that those random outputs find a use. So connect the random nodon to three equal comparison nodons, and the other parts of those comparison nodons should be taken up by other constant nodons. The constants all have different values, and they are all one above the one below it. So if the first constant has a value of 1, the one on top of it has a value of 2, and the one on top has a value of 3. And this ties into the random nodon's range, which is, in this this case 1 to 3. So if it gives a 1, then the equal comparison for a 1 will give a signal, but the other two will not. This is important so that the exits only go up in one exit. We don't want to have multiple exits. So if we don't do this, then all of them will open, and that's not really what we want because it kind of eliminates the whole random thing. And once you connect the teleporters to their respected compare nodons, then you are set. You have just made the programming to have your very own roguelike game. So good luck and have fun.